Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Albert and in today's video I would like to point 5 things which I think you're doing wrong. Following your projects and the activities you do on them, I believe that you can do certain things much better and more efficiently. I hope after watching this video your workflow will be taken to the next level. If you want to be up to date with news not only about the B-Theme or the B-Builder, but also WordPress itself, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking that little button below down there. Without prolonging these few words of introduction, let's move on to the specifics. Point number one, not using heading element. The first thing I would like to point out are headings. Making projects from scratch, we noticed you don't use heading element which is really powerful and got many built-in options included. Instead, what you usually do is using HTML heading tags in column element which is a poor solution because it doesn't give you a free control over the element like you would if you used the element separately. That's why I strongly recommend you to start using this element and you will see how much more interesting your projects will look like. Currently, in new pre-built websites, we use this element quite often, thanks to which we have much greater freedom of action. The point number two, not using new elements like the icon box, divider or toggle element. The other thing I would like to point out is not using new elements which we made to create more advanced layouts. I mean elements like the icon box, divider and toggle. These elements are so powerful that you could basically do most of your project with them only. The old counterparts of these elements are really poor in possibilities and it's really not worth using them any longer. Of course, we had to keep them for backward compatibility reasons, but we don't recommend using them in new projects. Let's look at the icon box, for example. It has so many built-in options like title, content, icon, position, alignment, and much more including dynamic tags. Literally, every part of the element can be styled in the style and advanced tabs. You want to change padding for the whole container? It's not a problem. Just put the value into right field and that's it. Background color change or setting a border is only a fraction of the possibilities. Using all available options, the possibilities are truly endless and it's entirely up to you how to use it. If you liked the video so far, don't forget to click the like button to feed the dragon with the algorithm. So the point number three, using column instead of plain text, HTML for HTML tags. If you're a fan of using raw HTML tags, don't put them in column element any longer. Use plain text HTML element instead. This element is mainly designed for those who appreciate working with HTML. Your tags and shortcuts will be parsed as soon as you enable shortcut parser option. Keep column along with visual editor option enabled for those who feel more comfortable working with the WYSIWYG editor. The point number four, not closing HTML tags properly. Whenever you use HTML tags, make sure you're opening and closing them correctly. For example, when you're opening paragraph tag, make sure twice this tag is closed properly with closing paragraph tag. Incorrect opening and closing tag leads to various errors such as incorrect display of other elements on the page, bold fonts that shouldn't be bold, etc. That's why it's so important to make sure that HTML tags are used with extreme care. And the point number five, installing all plugins. Installing all plugins available in Bitim plugin tab is pointless. Install the plugins you need and you're planning to use. Remember that each additional plugin loads its assets, which has a direct impact on slower page loading, which is not good from the point of CO. It is also worth remembering that the plugins necessary for a given pre-built website will be installed with the installation of the demo, so you don't have to install them separately. As always, thanks for watching. I hope these five points will help you organize your daily work better. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down there below. And don't forget to like, subscribe 
and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.